Dauntless is a free-to-play hunting action RPG that's exploded in popularity over the last year. It's one of the first games to feature full crossplay between PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. InstaLot supports us with tools that revolutionize the process of producing and optimizing content automatically, dramatically speeding up our development pipeline. Dauntless has a significant amount of content that needs to be performant on multiple platforms, and InstaLot allows us to develop in a scalable way that doesn't require additional resources. It's the right solution for us for multiple reasons. From a cost-benefit standpoint, we save tons of time and capital on scalable asset production. On top of the default feature set, we've built custom tools around InstaLot to maximize production for cross-platform development. I'm pretty happy with InstaLot. It's very powerful. There's some key features that benefit us as far as static meshes are concerned. It does a really great job at remeshing, taking a bunch of static meshes and converting them into a single mesh with one optimized material. Typically, it's really difficult to bring a mesh that's 30,000 triangles down to 5,000 or less and still have it look close to the original version's quality. It also takes several hours to do by hand. With InstaLot, it's fast, only taking a couple of minutes. Being able to combine several objects into one object of virtually identical quality is really impressive. Using InstaLot has helped me quite a bit because of their algorithms in scale mesh optimization and skinning, or scale mesh lotting. It provides a lot of flexibility to control and polish as we need and save us a considerable amount of time. It processes really quickly and allows for command lines for batch processing skeletal mesh FBXs. It's quite effective. There are also a ton of settings that provide a lot of depth and control, and it's flexible enough to tune per lot according to the area of importance, whether it be skinning, the silhouette, or preserving boundaries and vertex. I'm excited to see what else InstaLot will support in the future. As we utilize and learn more about InstaLot, we get better at it. There are still some features we need to explore, but it's definitely hit the mark on where we need to be today for asset scalability. We've got room to grow, and InstaLot will be a necessary part of Dauntless's continued expansion.